the museum we welcome approximately a million visitors every year. And at the same time, we realize that about 300,000 uh, participants uh, take part of activities related to education and all cultural uh, uh, aspects uh, of the museum. So one third of the people coming to the museum wants more than a simple visit. So we need to, uh, well, we need to fill the need, as we say. Um, and I think that the museum is doing it in a different way, uh, especially because we believe that the, um, the mission of the museum has changed a lot in the past few uh, years. Uh, uh, the first mission that we were seeing was the museum that preserved and showcased the artworks. And there is a second mission that has been appearing about uh, uh, several years ago. Uh, and that's more about the um, mission of society, uh, a museum of society, a museum of uh, citizenship that we can build with the children, with the adults, and with uh, uh, the elderly people. And at the same time, people coming from different uh, uh, places uh, where they don't think they belong in a museum. Well, we've realized that, you know, with the project that we had, uh, especially related to well-being and health at the museum, uh, this aspect was really developed, especially with people uh, coming, uh, having uh, um, um, eating disorders, mental issues, and so on. So we wanted to create the link between the well-being and the museum. And the best link is an art therapy. So that's why we are the first museum in the world to welcome full-time an art therapist in our, uh, in our museum. And at the same second time, we've created what we call you know, a health space in the museum, a well-being space, which is two ateliers and also an art hive. And the art hive is more about having a space where people can create, come freely uh, at a certain time during the week, and be uh, working with uh, art therapists and educators of the museum at the same time. The thing is, every issue is difficult. Everything is difficult. When you don't have artworks, that's always really complicated. You cannot talk about racism without artworks because otherwise that's really complicated. You cannot talk about LGBT issues in a museum without having artworks. So that's why we create special events or exhibitions or Educ Expo, like we call so education exhibitions in the museum. Um, to discuss about other things in a different way and uh, also to welcome people visiting the museum to discover another aspect of the artworks that we have. We have an example uh, at the museum uh, at the moment, Revolution, which is the last exhibition that we presented. We've asked during the entire year and we've been working with uh, an organization that works with uh, children having problem with uh, school dropout. Uh, we've chosen 50 artworks of the museum and asked the children to talk about these artworks and to select the artworks themselves uh, on the theme Revolution. So they're the curator of this space.